Hello, Ken Weller here with New Tech Inventors. Today what I'm going to do is give you a two-part video. The first part is going to show you uh, the progress on phase two of our new 3D print farm. We're in the process of adding some shelving and adding some printers, uh, some Tronic CXY2 Pros that we um, need to run before we uh, get our website running online because we'll be using those to print some of the parts we'll be selling. So I'm going to show you that and then the second part of the video is going to show you a little bit about how I do some of my soldering in the assembly process of the uh, helping hand parts. Someone in my last video had mentioned why don't I use the helping hand when I'm doing assembly and stuff. And believe me, I use it a lot around here. If you watch some of these videos that I'm doing, and especially when it comes to soldering, that's where I really have to use more than one helping hand. Uh, since I have them available, it makes it easier for me. So I'll be showing you that in a short clip at the end of this video. So hope you, uh, stick around and watch the whole thing. Here you can see the shelving that we've just recently assembled. Also we've put together some of these Tronic CXY2 Pros. So this will be phase two of our new print farm. We'll be putting some more printers on here this week. Okay, I'm in the process now of getting these Tronic C. These are the 802Ps that I've had for a long time that did a lot of the original prototype and printing for the helping hand parts. And these are the XY2 Pros here that we're in the process of setting up and making adjustments to the um, uh, leveling sensors and getting power to them. Just trying to get these printers going. These XY2 Pros have a 255 by 255 build plate. So I've got a little more room on here to uh, print some of the parts that I need to be printing. So we'll be uh, getting these set up and hopefully get them running, get some jobs so we can get some parts turned out. I planned on using these printers also to print, make, run the first uh, production runs of the lap diner. And we're going to try to get it ready to go on the uh, online store um, next month also. So I've got a lot of work yet to do to get these going. My uh, ANETs on the other side of the room are pretty much set up. I've got them all set up and lined. I still have some work to do on a couple of those printers and I'm still dealing a little bit with my favorite problem, the adhesion, working that out uh, with some of the jobs. So just thought I'd kind of brief you in here a little bit, give you a little bit of uh, let you know that things are still moving along. I've had a few uh, things I've had to deal with and uh, take care of and have a family event coming up this weekend that's taking a lot of my time. So um, things like that happen. They slow the process down a little bit. But the main thing is that we just keep inching along, moving the best we can. Uh, one of my old favorite terms is we're moving along like a herd of turtles. We're determined. And this is one of my favorite printers here. I'm just joking. It's a uh, ANET um, A8 Plus. It's a 330 by 330 build plate, but um, 
it takes a, a lot of time to assemble it and put it together. And I still have several of those to do. And I've got a little test part here. Um, testing, I've cleaned the glass off here. I'm printing this with uh, just plain glass because I'd like to try to see if I can't set these printers up to where I can print these jobs without having to put anything on the glass. No glue, no hairspray, no glue stick, nothing. So um, we'll see how this little test part turns out, see what the adhesion looks like, and um, I'm going to keep working with that a little bit because I really would like to be able to print uh, on the glass, get the settings figured out where I can print on the glass without having to use any uh, foreign material on the glass because it's just a, it's an extra step in the process plus it's hard to regulate how much you're getting on there and how much is accumulating over time and how much is being lost each time you remove prints and so forth. And here are some of the uh, lap diner parts that I've been test printing um, over here on these ANET printers and trying to uh, see if we can get them to do pretty well. I can print these uh, lap diner parts on the ANETs, but I have a little more room. This is a 220 by 220 build plate, and I have 255 by 255 on the Tronic CXY2 Pros. That's why I'm going to try to be using those to um, uh, print these. We're using three helping hands here. The first helping hand has a large plastic clamp on it, and we'll be using this one to hold our camera that's going to be recording the rest of this video. The other one up on the upper left has three flex arm LED lights, uh, giving me a quite a bit of light where I'm going to be doing my soldering. And the third helping hand, as you can see, is holding the magnifier and also providing clamps to hold the wire and the uh, connector where I'm going to be doing the soldering. The part that we're going to be soldering today is the flex arm LED light, like the three of them that we're using to see what we're doing here. Uh, what we have to do is once the flex arm LED is assembled, we have to run the wire through a corrugated conduit and solder a connector onto the end and then heat shrink it together. So that's what we're in the process of doing now and we'll just go ahead and speed through this and look at the uh, final product here in a minute. 